All right, this is another print today. Uh, it's the I showed earlier the first layer of both of these parts. This is the print coming to an end right now. And again, you can see there's uh, no messy Elmer's glue stick or anything like that. No curling or print remove, you know, coming off the bed or anything like that. Either one. All right. What this is is a box. This is kind of a box here. This would be considered the lid. It has an edge around it here. This is just an, a lip located just to the inside of the top right there. You can see it's going to fit inside inside of this box and then glued together. It'll be considered one piece. Another print, the next one I do, will be made to fit inside this one here, the back one, the box itself. Once that print is done, the, one, the little part that fits inside there, this will be glued on, locking the part on the inside of the box. So basically this is the print. It's looking great. It's smooth as it started out. It's just as smooth as it's coming to an end. And we already know what the first layer looks like. We saw it earlier in another video just before this one. But if you're doing a print and maybe you didn't really notice for whatever reason the first layer, it's obvious that the first layer of any print will be the bottom layer of the print. You'll just be looking at the other side. So if you want to see the back side of the first layer, just pull the print off the bed, flip it over, take a look at it. That will be considered the first layer. Now, that part of the print should be reflecting a duplicate, of the, you know, it would be matching, you know, uh, I guess replicating the texture of whatever the print is being printed on. That's showing how well the first layer went down. If it's got gaps or lines or grooves or whatever, if it's anything but smooth, then that's, that's a poor first layer. So the first layer has to be troweled down little by little, one step at a time, back and forth, up and down, you know, not up and down, but you know what I mean. It's literally the first layer is the bottom of the print. I want to also say this printer and all my printers have E-steps at 93. The factory set 93. That's what they came up with. That's what they decided the setting should be is 93. They did it for some reason and this reflects exactly why. If their printer is set up properly and my printer is set up properly, then these steps makes, makes sense. This is the hot end. No bullshit hot end. Literally, Bowden tube. That gets filament from over here to over here while the printhead is moving. That's how it works. You don't need to have all the crap hanging on the hot end here causing uh, extra weight, extra momentum problems. Just let the printer do its job. Leave the extruder there. Leave the extruder and the uh, stepper motor over there. Leave all the weight and all the bullshit over there. If you need to change the extruder to a metal one, good luck. This is the original plastic body of the extruder. There, will, there won't be any issues at all compared to what happens with a metal extruder all the time or, or is expected. But yet people bitch and moan because that lever happens to crack, but it only did it because the lever was under tension in the box before it was even sold. But you can purchase a lever from the supplier, still in the bag, has never been installed, and, in, and put it in place. You remove that one little screw right there, and you're done. No E-step changes, no calibrations, no bullshit. 
and there's no heat to the bed. It's a non-heated bed, as all my videos are. All, they're all, it, all my videos show the exact same thing. Okay, let's pull this back. We'll take a good look at it. The layer height on this was 0.15. This is PLA printed at 210 Celsius with a non-heated bed. He steps at 93. These are the original springs. All of them, all four. Original springs. This is using the original firmware that came with the printer because it works. I felt that if I were to assemble the E3 Ender 3 out of the box as the manufacturer, as Creality has assembled it, it should print. It better print. And lo and behold, it does. Okay? I know it's hard to believe. It's not bullshit. But here it is. Another print out of 3,900 plus. I'm just adding it to my collection. Alright, happy printing.